the love and passion for students with special needs has kept Katija Bakar going for three decades, helming the Special Children's Centre, Penang. It is also her ambition to become a teacher and she feels very excited being able to work with special children. She served as a teacher at the centre for about nine years before handling physiotherapy for two years. In 1995, she was promoted to be the principal. Something unique about them, I know. Mm. So we don't say that these children are naughty. I always say that special children are not naughty mm. because they don't know. Yeah, they don't know. They don't know they what don't you know. want me to do. Uh. If you show them many times, they are capable, they can copy. Uh, and then like kitchen, uh, we teach them some domestic science. Mm. Like many, many months ago, they cook soup, uh. the fish ball soup, you know. So the chick who show them only first time, ah, okay, what is here? Tell us, tell us. When it first started, the centre had 15 students in one class, but it has now grown to 57 students and 10 teachers. The centre focuses on functional academics and teaching the children survival skills to handle day-to-day -day tasks on their own. The survival skill is important because sometimes the special children, if you have something in front of them like biscuit, the packet of biscuit, some of them might not know how to open. You see, you know, it's so yeah. first time maybe you show them, but yeah. later you yeah. must let them do. I see. Yeah, so this is the chances that you must give them. Do daily yourself, do by yourself, do, do daily yourself. thing by yourself. The centre will organise a food fair on August 20th to create awareness on these children.